Okay, so now I'm going to show you exactly how to edit your green screen video when you have it finished. Um, a lot of people think that it's some super complicated process. It absolutely is not. It's actually ridiculously easy. I use iMovie. I love iMovie. I am a Mac girl and I'll never even look at a PC in my entire life if I don't have to ever again. But um, I started out doing video on Windows Movie Maker on a PC. And I know for sure that PC, or Windows Movie Maker is very similar to iMovie. It's super similar. They have all the same functions, they're just in different places. So if you're familiar with Windows Movie Maker, uh, you should be able to figure out it's a, seriously the same exact way. Now, the clip that we're going to use is, you know, right here. So that little word is what we're going to use. But, um... Let me just, okay, we'll start by saying, first you need to know what your background is. So, usually I just use white. I think white looks super slick. It's like the, you know, Apple phone, whatever, iPhone um, commercials and all that. So if you go here, you can choose a background. And I don't know why they have so many globes. Like, how many people actually use that? I don't know. But you can go here and choose white. So the first thing you have to do is have your background in place. And your background can seriously be anything you want. Um, if you want, oh you know what actually, so if you were doing like a fun one with your kids and you're like running you know and you wanted to put it like with some cool footage, let me show you how cool this is. Here's my little, okay I'm gonna grab like maybe a little bit of this. Let me get it cool. Um, so there's that, and then you go back to your little clip that you want. Let me show you, like, how cool. I love the green screen. Okay. Focus. Boom. Clip. Let's just do, like, 11 seconds. You grab that, whatever you want, and you put it. See, there's, you can start anywhere. You have your little green thing right here. Um, right as close to the beginning as possible without having that green line on the side. So you just layer right there. And then you're going to choose what you want to do. Um... So if you were doing a blue screen, you could choose that, but we didn't. We used a green screen, so boom. And there's me in the middle of the Maui jungles. And uh, I'm Danielle Ford, and me. this is how you film and edit green screen video. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so now uh, we're going to take this. That's pretty cool. Okay. Obviously, you can probably get an idea of like the kind of cool things you could do with that. But, for uh, most of our sake, business and marketing, etc., you could create a background image. Many times I, um, you know, if I'm doing a book review or if I want it to look a certain way, I'll just go in Photoshop and create a background image doing the 16 by 9 ratio. And then I'll just uh, use that image instead, just drag it in there. So, you want to make sure, if you know for sure how long your clip is, like our clip is... About. Okay, that will show you how to. Uh, sugar. All right, let's do it. Okay, so our clips. Where was that? Um, about 16 seconds, we'll say. Okay, so you want to make this 16 seconds. Okay, and then grab our clip again. Okay, lost. Okay, and here we go. Green screen. Boom. Here we go. I'm Danielle Ford, and this is how you film and edit green screen video. Okay. <laughs> oh, so. so I took that way longer. Okay. Why isn't it doing that? Okay. 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 Okay, then you can um, crop your background as soon as you stop. Cut off a little thing here. One more tiny little edge. And then... I'm Danielle Ford, and this is how you film and edit green screen video. Super cool. So then there's so, then there's so many things you can do with this. Oh, if you wanted to switch out your, light, your uh, background with... Um, some of the other ones that they offer, you could go ahead and do that. If you want to see how 
other backgrounds look if you want it to be stars behind you whatever it can be really fun so it'd be like you know underwater whatever that is um then you can always like add text to it and you know say whatever you want um make it look pretty cool if you want to do your website you're like you know there's my website whatever or you could always um do an overlay. I mean, oh my gosh, there's like so many things. There's my little overlay. Um, there's just a billion things you can do. Oh, you know what? You can't overlay it. You can't have two overlays. So what you'd want to do is um, export the video when you're done with it, and then re-import it. That's I always have to do that whenever I do like multiple layers. Which is annoying, but it's okay. So if I was finished with this and I wanted to put like an overlay, I would just export it to my desktop, import it back in here to this event, and then go ahead and put my overlay on. So um, that's pretty much it. It's super flippin' simple. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have uh, any more questions, all right? Let's go back to the webinar.